Okay, yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm Rens, um, I'm the Chief Powertrain Engineer with Warwick Racing. So uh, my main uh, responsibility is to provide technical direction um, to, the, uh, to the powertrain team and also uh, assist members in their daily jobs. Um, so I uh, kind of started Warwick Racing in 2016 and I've kind of, yeah, mostly worked on the, on the powertrain section since then, with electronics, motors and drivetrain, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, generally just uh, try to have a good time while doing it. Warwick Racing, um, we've split the um, we've split the structure a little bit compared to all the teams. So we have three divisions. We've got powertrain, chassis, and uh, business divi division. And uh, me and Angel essentially take the chief and chief engineer roles. Uh, with that, we take technical direction for each of the uh, separate systems. But also um, um, also we kind of perform a bit more of the project management side. Um, but we both essentially work together on stuff, and uh, it it helps us in. Um, in making more informed decisions because we know more about what's going on with the project. So I normally come in at eight o'clock um, and uh, we try and do the tasks that we set out to do at the start of the week. Um, but a large part of my job is assisting people with getting their jobs done. So um, so it's very important to be flexible and, um, and essentially be able to help people in different areas. So it could be, I could either be doing practical work, so soldering the harness or I could also be doing uh, cat development or uh, anything that people might need help with. Collaboration is one of the most important things in such a big technical project uh, because obviously you need, um, well, you need the kind of input from a lot of people to make the design better. Um, so COVID has thrown a bit of a spanner in the works with that because obviously in-person meetings are much more difficult, um, but uh, we have been trying to uh, do a similar thing with Teams meetings and kind of online stuff where we can. Um, but, uh, but yeah, generally, if you, it's much easier to discuss a problem if you sit around a table and uh, and can just bounce ideas off each other. So powertrain development, I think the, uh, the big mistake people make is that they don't think enough about the actual final part of uh, of the project where everything comes back together. So a lot of people will spend a lot of time um, thinking about the initial, uh, thinking about the design, uh, but then not think enough about the integration. So when you end up putting all the systems together at the end, they don't quite mesh. Um, so it's very important to, from the start, consider where that system is going to be connected. So that could be electronics, could be mechanical. We're just taking that into account from, from the start. So chassis development is mostly um, concerned with the mechanical parts of the car. So uh, supporting the powertrain um, and more uh, kind of the brakes, the suspension, etc. The powertrain is more focused on the, uh, on the drive. So uh, developing the, the batteries that we need to develop the tractive system. Um, and it's generally also looking more at the, the things we build in terms of system pers perspective because it's more a combination of elements, uh, so mechanical, electrical controls compared to, to, compared to chassis development, which is mostly mechanical. WRE2 is, uh, well, our latest kind of innovation. So uh, the, the biggest part is actually in the powertrain section where uh, it's got a dual, uh, dual motor package. That will enable us to start working on torque vectoring so essentially when you go around the corner, um, the inner wheel can spin at a slow or lower speed, so make, which makes you go, take the corner quicker. And also it enables us to work on more advanced uh, control systems for that are actually in use as well uh, in cars today. But also the development of the battery, um, it's a very robust design, so we will be able to take that forward hopefully in the coming years with minimal uh, development. So yeah, it's, a, it's an exciting uh, design.